good. Trump is the most scammiest president of the United States. You shouldn't even lay a finger on his ass in the first place. In fact, you should have stopped worshiping him, worshiping him a long time ago. I can't get down with those people if they can't step up and, and, and defend President Trump and defend America. It's a good thing that they won't do that because they don't need to stand up or step up. It is against their democracy to sabotage the election. And I'm talking about who you're talking about. I'm talking about the GP. It's against their right to sabotage the election. Because the we, the American people, voted for a right choice. And if you're going to cry about it, please, bring something brings down some tears down your face. President Trump is, is, is trying to save this country. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. I'm just pissed off with the GOP. I'm pissed off with them. I'm so pissed off. We got them re-elected. We got these people back in office. We have their back. We helped them raise money. President Trump helped those people raise money. He helped them out, and they ain't nowhere to be found. The GOP can kiss my black ass. I'm so sick of the Democrats can kiss my black ass too. Okay, good. Good. Just an FYI, um, you know. Trump did not help the American economy. He didn't help the American people at all. He didn't really help the stock market since COVID. Uh, for the past 11 months, 11 months now, he didn't help at all. COVID's been here since January of lot of this year, and it's only been eleven months since the American people died. We got at least, I think, about two hundred forty k people now who have died from COVID, which means he hasn't done everything for for the country. I know what you're on. Listen to this clip. One of the journalists shouted at President Trump and asked, Are you being so loser? This is so disrespectful. They should have their presidentials thrown away. Um, no. That's how journalists are supposed to work, Terrence. Cry like about it. Crying like a crybaby. <laughs> Can somebody tell me where in the hell is the GOP? Where are they yet? Where is the house in the city? Oh, he's tweeting that video again. Yeah, whatever. Along with that video, he tweeted again. He tweeted Trump meltdown by. President Trump was telling the whole world the truth about this corrupt election. Voter fraud is happening right in front of our eyes. All those in involved need to go to jail right now in front of our eyes. We will win. No, because we decided to vote for Biden. We're not going to jail. We didn't do a voter fraud. We, the American people who voted for Biden, did the right thing. You have to accept that. I'm sorry, Terrence. But that's just how it is. I'm not giving up on President Trump. Well, you have to now. The National Guard should observe polling places and ballot counts. That's not gonna happen, Terrence. 
I hate to break it to you, but quit being so stupid, please. Ah, look at this tweet that you made about Joe Biden. I wonder what Terrence is going to say now. Some pretty something pretty pretty sure he'll say something stupid in a next couple of seconds, starting right now. So let's watch. Yeah, right. Listen. Don't get it twisted. Joe Biden is not your president, and he is sure not my president. You know who is Once again, you crazy lunatic. Once again, we, the American people, and I hate to repeat this, guys, and I apologize for that, but this guy doesn't understand the, tradi the traditional way that we, the American people, vote for. We voted for Biden. We voted by mail this year because even though it's the military usually votes voted by mail, which is traditional, because the military is overseas right now until Thanksgiving or Christmas, possibly around there. We took the new traditional route to vote to all vote by mail because of the deadliest virus in this century. Wake the fuck up and learn your morals. Who is your president? Donald Trump. Not Donald Trump anymore. He's only our president for the next two and a half months. Then it'll be Biden's turn in January 20th, 2021. Donald J. Trump is your president, okay? Joe Biden is not the winner. He has not won. And guess what? Don't let the media... You are in denial. Media fool you. Don't let... The media traditionally calls out the election by project projecting that Joe Biden is the winner. After all the states counted the votes, which they did, then the media projects that every candidate is the winner. It happened since the 1960s. Preferably the first year of the 1960s. The 1960 presidential election. It happened since Nixon was in the first presidential election. That's when the media calls the election. Don't let the media trick you. When Joe Biden claims victory, he still won't be your president. Because and that's where you're wrong. It's happening one way or the other. Trump will either get dragged out of the White House, or he will walk voluntarily. The ballot getting dragged out. Because you know why? Everything they are doing right now is fraudulent, and we... Fraudulent where? You, of all people, still have no proof at all. You don't have proof. And you're using your big mouth to talk shit. Thinking, thinking that you're so tough, but you're not. You're crying on the inside. I just know that. And how many times has that worked? That's what I thought. Supreme Court. So you will be stupid if you call Joe Biden your president. You will be dumb if you believe it's all over when he claims victory. Please believe me, we will be going to court the day he claims victory. You better believe it. President Trump will be your president for four more years. Don't get it twisted. Oh, I'm not giving up on Trump. Huh. Terrence, I'm very, very, very sorry that you feel that way. But guess what? It's fair election and it's final. 
Biden is our president now. It's time for a change. A change in the new reality that we're in. The new reality that we were in since the 2008 Obama days. That's a new reality. The earth is dying. There is... There is... Black people being... Racially targeted. And... The American economy is broken because of Trump. Other than, I don't think we've ever seen anything like this from a president of the United States. And uh, I think as Jake said, it is it's sad and it is truly pathetic. And of course it's dangerous and of course it will go to courts, but you'll notice the president did not have any evidence presented at all. Nothing. No real, actual evidence uh, of any kind of fraud. He talked about people putting up papers in windows. He talked about things that he'd seen on the internet. That is the president of the United States. That is the most powerful person in the world. And we see him like an obese turtle on his back, flailing in the hot sun, realizing his time is over. But he just hasn't accepted it, and he wants to take everybody down with him, including this country. You know what, Anderson Cooper? You know what, Terrence? Anderson Cooper is right. Trump failed us. Trump failed us all. It's time for you to grow up here and stop attacking the media and stop attacking the American people who decided to vote for the right president of the United States, and that is Joe Biden. Again, we voted for Joe Biden. I cannot believe I've say this so many times. You make me sick to my stomach. It is so hard listening to you. I'm sick of you getting up. It's so hard listening to him because you don't have a brain. You're not smart. You're not educated. You're Debbie High School or college dropout who basically voted for Trump. You're not smart at all. You don't even have a higher GPA. You voted for somebody who's dumb as you are. Getting on TV, whining and complaining. Like he wasn't whining and complaining right there. You are whining and complaining right now. Look at your mouth. You're doing the whining part. Not interested in Cooper. He's just stating the facts as it is. Because as your overlord Donald Trump says, it is what it is. Like a little girl. And how... That is you, a little girl. Dare you talk about President Trump? How dare you call him an obese turtle? Because he is. Don't you ever see his weight? He's an obese turtle. He eats a lot of junk food every single time. He's been doing that since... Since childbirth. Trump is severely obese. He's been eating young food for most of his adult life. How can you fucking not, not see that? How can you not see that? You want to call... First of all, President Trump is tougher than you? Smarter than you? Uh, yeah, no, not true. Has more charisma than you? You are just a little fa- Trump has more charisma since when? He's not a nice person to everybody. 
Why can't you see that? Again, you're living you're living in Trump land. How about you get out of Trump land? Burn that stupid disgraceful hat and wake up and join a real reality club. And in the Biden era, by the way, in the Biden era, there is no fake news. Fake news doesn't exist. Do you, do you understand me? Fake news doesn't exist in the Biden era. It may exist in the Trump era right now for the next two months, but in the Biden era, fake news will never exist. And at some point, you're gonna have to accept it. That works for CNN. And you can never be president like Donald J. Trump. You if Anderson Cooper wanted to run for president, he can do a much better job than what Donald John Trump couldn't do. But I'm afraid your conspiracy theory guesses of thinking that Anderson Cooper can run for president is going a little bit overboard. We'll happily stay at CN reporting the, the facts the way they are. So get used to it. You grew up in a time where the news media exists. And they've never been fake since the beginning of time. They never have been fake since the beginning of time, and they never will be fake since the Biden era. And they were never fake during the Trump era either. You are all just jealous little crybabies who keep listening to Trump and and thinking that they are fake when they're not. like him. You don't have the... Of course he'll never be like him because he's not a meany little old man like Trump. Trump is a meany little old man. Balls to be like Donald J. Trump. <sighs> Anderson Cooper can grow more balls than Trump. Trump can't. All Trump wants is power, and he's crying for it. And you're crying to keep Trump in. How disgusting. Trump. Yeah, I said it. Grow up, here. Who you... do you think you are to get on TV and disrespect your leader? He is... He is not our leader. He is our dictator. It's a... There is a big difference between our leader, who's actually nice, and a dictator who's mean to everybody. He attacks the American people. The American people, by the way, are journalists. The American people are journalists, too. In case you forgot. And don't you forget that. And don't you forget it. And don't you forget what I said either. I'm so sick of these people that work for CNN. They are a disgrace. To and you're a disgrace to wear that hat and to support a dumb little old man who's fat and can't even exercise every day. America, they are an embarrassment. Fake journalists. That's exactly what you are. You are nothing but a little crybaby cheerleader for CNN. And, and your crybaby cheerleader for Donald Trump, Terrence K. Williams. Air crybaby for Donald Trump.
No president in the history of this country has been cheated, harassed, and attacked like this. When you do the right thing, this is what happens. Keep the keep up the fight, President Trump. Is Biden too old to go to jail for voter fraud? There is no voter fraud for the last time I said this. There is no voter fraud. What's the first thing to come to your mind when you hear any Anderson Cooper? Well, that he is a journalist who knows that Trump lies. He's a nice person, by the way. And Trump is not. Anderson Cooper is one of the most kind, hardest people on planet Earth. Up and Trump. And he knows how to do the journalistic work. You, however, are not a journalist, so you don't have the right to say any of it. You don't have the right to say what Anderson Cooper is and what he does. You don't have the right to say that at all. And when the Biden era finally arrives, say goodbye to your mean stuff. Like, really. And look, you got a notice. Because you're tweeting, you're tweeting fake news yourself. Looks like voter fraud to me. That is fake news because there is no voter fraud at all. I heard Twitter would appreciate the people would stop retweeting this video. That looks like uh, voter fraud. This video could possibly be used as evidence. So please don't piss off Twitter, Biden, and Democrats by retweeting this. And of course he pissed him off because he got this again. I'm receiving multiple death threats for not giving up on President Trump. I won't stop. You little goons can't intimate me. Election results 2020. Biden 264 is a joke and I'm standing by that. Oh yeah, you stand by that alright. When you cry like a crybaby. Uh, this, this video again. This video. Uh, another video of this. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna play it. But just know that he's gonna cry. This election is not over. A recount is coming. Court case is coming out before we go sleep. Pres go to sleep. President Trump is in the lead. And we wake up. Biden is magically in the lead. Statistics and numbers in the in these places: Pennsylvania, Washington, Michigan, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. Wait, did he? Did he already tag Pennsylvania? Oh, never mind. Over. It is not over. It ain't over. Yes, it is. This is not over at all. Yes, it is. Joe Biden will not be the president. Please believe me. He will not it's be over. in the White House come January. Please believe me. No, we won't. President Trump will get four more we won't. years. No, because this no. right here wrong. is a phony wrong. election. Wrong. Phony. Wrong. Wrong. Phony wrong. Wrong. You're wrong. What? You're wrong. It will be a recount. Guess what? We will be going to the Supreme Court. Don't believe this projection. Don't believe those magical numbers that they came up with. Tell me how in the world is President Trump always leading at night? Then when we wake up in the he wasn't leading at night at all. You genius. He wasn't. It's all right there in the proof. If you can't wake up. And I'm sorry. Your delusion. Oh. Biden is magically in, in the lead. How is he always magically in the lead? Come on now, let's be real. He's magically in the lead because that's how the votes work. How many times should I tell you this, man? Let's 
be real. Joe Biden, sleepy Joe Biden, a man that slept. He may be sleepy, but he's selfie of an undone Trump. In his basement all day long, every single day. A because COVID is a deadly virus. And by the way, Terrence, you're gonna get one. I guarantee you, you will get the COVID-19 virus. A man who couldn't come out of his basement. <laughs> because he doesn't want to get COVID. He's more responsible than Donald Trump who got COVID. And you're about to get one. Again, you're about to get COVID-19. Just watch. A man who couldn't even pull in 20 people at a rally is somehow beating President Trump, the greatest president that we have ever had? You're talking a lot of bullshit again. Again, President Trump was never great. He wasn't a great president of the United States. He bullied everyone. He bullied the journalists. He bullied his own political allies. He even bullied America's neighbors. Can't you see that? He bullied America's neighbors. That's who Trump really is. I hope you wake up to a much better day or future ahead of time. Come on now, come on now. President Trump was pulling in 30,000 people at a rally while Joe Biden was pulling in 20 people and he was pulling in 20 people. Uh, let me hear that again. What did you just say? A man who couldn't even pull in 20 people at a rally. Okay, he got 20 people. How much did Trump have? And somehow beating President Trump, the greatest president that we have ever had? Come on now, come on now. President Trump was pulling in 30,000 people. There we go. Yeah, that is why we voted for Biden. If you haven't checked Google lately, which I think you'll never do because you're not smart, over 240 people, I presume, have died from COVID-19. This is why we voted for Biden. If you put Trump in another four years to have these stupid rallies, his supporters, including yourself, will be dead from COVID-19. COVID-19 is a deadly virus, and he ha hasn't taken this seriously at all. We are tired of President Donald John Trump. He is not the right president of the United States. He never has been in the last four years. And he, this is the ultimate turning point. People at a rally while Joe Biden was pulling in 20 people and he was pulling in 20 people. 20 people who were so socially distanced from COVID-19, from the COVID-19 virus and who were actually following the social distancing protocols, unlike Trump and his supporters. Uh, before the pandemic, so don't even blame the pandemic on the reason why that it has been during the pandemic now. In that case. He didn't have nobody. Come on now. Come on now. Let's be real. Man, this stuff is fraudulent. This stuff is phony. You better believe there will be a recount. You better believe we will be taking this to the Supreme Court. You're a delusional motherfucker. You are very delusional.